Lowering health care costs in Florida means driving innovative and proactive health care system reforms that work to produce better outcomes and conditionally expand insurance coverage to low-income Floridians. Our state's population is expected to see substantial growth by 2030, growth that will come with unique health care challenges. This will require us to take a hard look at current issues, from scope of practice and graduate medical programs to the use of telemedicine that expands access to care and improves affordability. The Florida Chamber's Florida Business Alliance for Comprehensive Healthcare, Healthcare Alliance, seeks to support initiatives by actively working with members to promote programs that seek to lower costs for Florida's families. One key issue that will help achieve those lofty goals is to increase the use of telemedicine. Florida hospitals are deploying a number of innovative telemedicine services and technologies, and we're excited to hear from one of the premier healthcare providers in the country, Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville. Today, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Kevin Barrett, who leads Mayo's Telestroke program. Dr. Barrett, welcome. How are you today, sir? Very good. How are you? Good. Let's back up and start with a, a definition here. When you when you hear the word telemedicine, I would imagine a lot of people are like me. They're not they're a little fuzzy about what that means. What is telemedicine? Telemedicine is simply the use of electronic communication to exchange medical information and deliver health care to patients. Explain how that's in use today. So there's a there's a broad continuum of how Electronic communication can be used for delivering health care. One example would be the use of secure messaging or secure emails for a patient to communicate with their health care team, and that might be a primary care provider team or a family medicine team, and it ranges all the way to real-time live audio-visual communications with patients who might be in remote locations and need access to specialty input or recommendations regarding their treatment. Is that how Mayo is using telemedicine today? Correct. We have uh, several platforms. One is a telestroke platform where we have robots that are actually deployed in emergency departments throughout the state, so in Titusville, Florida, Pensacola, Florida, and also in southeast Georgia. And what we're able to do is, uh, in real time, be able to not only evaluate a patient who presents to an emergency department with the stroke syndrome, but using that platform, we can also review neuroimaging, like a CT or a brain MRI, and then work in partnership with the local emergency department physicians to treat patients with a clot-busting medication called TPA. Let's broaden this a little bit. When you talk about telemedicine in general, how is it important to the state of Florida? Uh, telemedicine is really the, the future of health care. And if Florida wants to remain at the frontier of delivering timely, affordable, uh, and uh, relevant medical care, then telemedicine is something that Florida needs to continue to adopt so that we can be a leader in providing high-quality health care. I would imagine there's a benefit to taxpayers, but let's talk about that more specifically. If the state adopts a rather robust telehealth policy, what kind of benefits can a taxpayer expect to see? Underserved areas, uh, areas in which uh, subspecialty expertise isn't readily available, so that might be in rural communities, that telemedicine can then uh, instantly deliver that kind of expertise to underserved patient populations it's going to improve access to subspecialty medical care. And overall, it should lower the costs of delivering care because it can be done in a timely way without patients having to take on the challenges that travel to a tertiary center like Mayo Clinic might entail. And so not only do taxpayers benefit, but what I hear you saying is patients that might be living in, in you know outlying areas, the state of Florida, obviously very diverse in its makeup, they, ex- they can benefit dramatically from telehealth platforms. Absolutely. There's, a, there's just a, a, a continuum of care that can be delivered through uh, virtual telepresence and telemedicine that currently not all patients in our state have access to. And this would be a way to overcome those geographic barriers and get patients the type of expertise that they need in a timely and cost-effective way. Dr. Barrett, great information. Thanks for expanding our knowledge of telemedicine. We appreciate your time very much. 
Thanks for having me. Bye.